Welcome back everyone. In this particular video, we will see that what memorization is and how we can implement it on a factorial function, which is a simple math example that will help you understand this powerful technique, right? So memorization is all about doing the caching and it is a way to store the result of expensive function so that we can call the function with the same argument again and we can return the same cached result without recomputing the whole function, right? So this is very useful for heavy calculation and for the recursive algorithm. So let's first take a simple example of doing it with the help of factorial like this. So you can see that this particular function of factorial or doing the recursion is actually very difficult. Why? Because every call recomputes all the sub factorials and which can be very slow or very large, right? And it can take a large storage and large time. For that purpose and for resolving this problem, we use the memorization. And how we do it? We actually create a, another generic memorize helper function, right? Like this function. And then we write the memorize here. You can name it anything which you want, but normally we write it as memorize. Then fn fn is taking any argument right so inside of this we write the const cache and then we take a object here right and then here we return you need to understand all the line of code which i am writing because this is the basic syntax or the way to create a memorization function and that's what we are learning in this particular video right so inside of this we will take the arguments and we will return as what const key equals to json dot stringify bracket inside of this we will pass that argument right <coughs> now after that if if cache cache means what this particular cache right so if this particular cache is having any key and that particular key is undefined right is undefined in that particular case we do what we return as cache key fine now const result equals to after that we write the name of the function which we are already calling right inside of this we are having we are taking as an argument right now inside of this we will pass all the arguments and then we do what we write cache bracket key equals to result right and then in the end we return sorry return the result like this now let me explain you everything this particular const cache is doing what it is storing the previous results right for that purpose we have created this particular variable which is a object right after that if you see a const key equals to json dot stringify args what is this well this is your cache key this particular key is your cache key right and if cache key is not un is actually undefined right in that particular case we are returning the cache key right which is the cache to value fine after that in this particular line of code when we are saying that const result is equals to fn and all the arguments well this is doing the computation part right whatever the function which we are passing as the argument is uh now the particular computation which is required is actually done in this particular line of code and after that that particular value is getting stored inside this cache this was a condition of checking that whether the cache value is undefined or not right and if not it means if it is undefined in that particular case we are returning it right and if not then in that particular case we are storing the result and after that we pass that result let me show you with the help of example that how it is actually working so let me say that we are having another variable that is const memorize memorize a factorial right const memorize factorial and inside of this we are having we will write what we will write that 
this particular function name right that is memorize so first you write memorize sorry memorize then you put a bracket here now inside of this as an argument you will pass this particular function right so you just copy okay let me first remove it from the now if you go inside this particular function and you write the whole part which was the complicated uh, function earlier which was taking large memory and time you write it inside the memorize function right now the thing is completely done this is the whole part how you do the memorize now we'll see that whether it is working or not for that purpose we do what we will first at the console dot time right it will give the time of execution right so let's name it first call after that we'll write what console dot log and inside this sorry we will write the memorize factorial and we will give the argument as let's say 10 right after that we will write console dot time now at the time when this execution ends right it will give me that time the so time end they will write a time end you need to understand that what is console dot time and what is console dot time end it is very important to understand right so first call after that we will put a second call this will do what this will actually do the computation because we are executing it for the first time right that's why it will it do what it will compute compute all right after that let me copy the whole thing again and this time i'm saying the second call second call and this time it will not compute everything again it will do what let me remove it for the second time it will do what it will return me as return me a cache right whatever the result it has stored inside the cache because we are passing the same argument different times right and this is the second call let me go to the console part and show you that how it is working you can see let me refresh it so first call don't exist let me see that what problem is occurring Okay, so a small mistake that we were doing is that here we were put it like in the call part we have put it the first letter as capital but here we were giving it as small so we need to give it capital at both the places right so that's how it will identify that for the same input right what is the time of the first call and for what is the time for its end right now if you go to the console you can see for the first call let me show you for the first call it is taking 0 0.33 second to give this result now for the second call it is taking 0 0.09 second that means it is having a very taking very much less time in the second call and why it is happening because in the first call it is doing the computation of all the values right and in the second call it is just returning the values which are stored in the cache right so this is how we do this uh, part of what memorization and i hope you understood this is the main line of code to do the memorization steps right you need to remember this or you can take the note of it right so i hope you understood the concept very clearly we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye